Welcome everybody to the Free Ride Academy, a series in eight parts where we're gonna make you, or at least I think we're gonna make you, a better skier. Let's go. So today in the first episode we're gonna go through how to ski powder and with me I have Evelina Nilsson and we are together standing uh, in line. Yeah, first in line. So uh, Evelina, mm -hmm. one question, what's your primary key to success when skiing powder? Like we have one thing to, to give it. One thing to keep it good. I think just imagine yourself being an elf. An elf. Yeah, super light because that brings you confidence and that's what you need. You need confidence and you need to be yeah. light on the snow. Because they are immortal. Right? They are immortal, kind of, yeah, they are immortal yeah. actually. So, we're about to venture out in the unknown, or at least uh, to the what we hope is POW. Yep. So what are the things we have to think about when skiing? So, think about your position, good pressure, um, a little higher upper body, and then to be closer with your feet together, so you're more one unity flowing. Um, and then just being kind of light on your foot and feeling how, what the snow does and then you know if you have to be like harder pressure or more light yes. but more light is and I, key. And I take it you don't want to come in with the whole carving approach from the piece. You don't want to do your turns drawn out no. all the time but you want to feel the snow. You want right? to feel the snow in and be more like more flowy and more light. The big difference between the broad and small skis when you're skiing powder, what is that? Yeah, but if you have broad skis that are flatter and small, you feel the bottom. Ah! And a lot of people feel the bottom. One thing I've come to find really hard is that the snow is always so different depending on what turn you do and where you go. So. You always have to adapt yourself. Exactly, you always have to adapt to the conditions and always try to fight back to your uh, to your position. And you're gonna be like sometimes off balance, but just come back and you know try. Drink a little coffee. Drink a little coffee. Roll and roll and roll and roll and roll. A lot of people have been talking to me about uh, placing your poles in the uh, proper way. What do you think about that? So I'm coming from Moguls where we used to put on our poles in every single turn. So, but that's not really what I'm doing now. But the poles are super uh, important just because it helps you with your balance. I mean, if you would have your arms or poles here, you would be back in yeah. your position. So. Just think about having your poles forward and then just like moving them because it will make you more in position and more in balance when you're skiing. Of course, of course. Uh, how about the skis? The skis? The skis. For powder. For powder skiing. You want to have 100 width or more. Uh -huh. I ski on the K2 Mindbender 106. So, pow ski. Pow ski, exactly. You want to have a wider ski because then you're floating more on the snow. So you're not like sinking deep. Uh, it's easier to ski when you have a wider ski. So this is a perfect ski for powder and tree skiing and open fields powder, so. And a perfect match to your jacket. Exactly. And your poles. You want to have And it. your goggles. You want to have <laughs> it matching, man. It's important. <laughs> the style is important. The style, yeah. It's the the whole package. Exactly. If you feel <laughs> stylish, you're gonna look stylish. Mm. Hey, man. Yeah. Okay, let's go find some pow. Okay, nice. Good run. Powder. Really good run. Yeah. We managed to find some at, after all. Yeah. They started out pretty, um, you know, we found some mellow turns, but that just goes to show, as you said to me, that you always have to look for the powder and there's always some good snow at some good angle. And to some, uh, some are Free Ride Academy up for this special episode. Yeah. What was your uh, tips and tricks on how to ski pow? My tips and tricks was first and foremost, the position. Like, 
good forward lean in your shins and be closer with your skis together when it's powder. Hands up, pulls forward. And just to be like an elf, light yes. on the snow and really feel that snow, um, what it's doing. Rivendell skiing. Exactly, <laughs> that's what we sum it up as, Rivendell yes. skiing. Rivendell skiing. I experienced, or I got a tip when I went to the Alps for the first time. We were talking about getting back to the position. Mm -hmm. And a very good means of, or a very good way of getting back to position for me have been to always try to put my toes up because that allows me to get back in position in an easier way without using my, my thighs every time to get forward because I will always get a slam like back. But as long as I use my toes, my knees automatically bends over the, the boot, which has helped me as a, as a rookie pow skier really much. Yeah, so that's a very good tip. Like, Every small little thing you find on the way, just like try it out and... Last but not least, skiing powder uh, and being aware of the dangers of skiing powder. Mm -hmm. We can't, uh, we have to mention that real short. Always bring your safety equipment and always know what to do, when to do it and where it might not be a good idea to go. Exactly. Stay tuned for the next episodes of the Freeride Academy where we will get, give you more valuable tips on how to become a better off-piste skier. Until next time.